In this text, Schopenhauer explains that the power to shape reality must emanate from our own cognition. The word power literally means to act. Now, since power is through action, when an event takes place, it is our inner will that is responsible. And with an extraordinary psychology, reality can be radically different. Dude, you just talk to her. Look, I'm not going to go talk to somebody else. Yeah, but dude, you're freaking obsessed. So at least say hi. <laughs> the power for me to take this pad first took cognitive action in my mind. And look, <laughs> now it's in my hand. But Schopenhauer's view is, is much grander. <laughs> the potential energy of cognitive action focused by an inner will could express itself in kinetic motion. Anyone? Anyway, no? Simply, if one focuses hard enough, the mind will find a way to make it happen. We all have our muses. The ancient Nusian phrase, impernium a bene placito, encompasses this idea. To command at one's pleasure. But, unfortunately, life to Schopenhauer is, is a battle between where to be and what exists in reality. Now, normally we can't escape this tension. But art to Schopenhauer is a safe haven for the mind. To understand art is to understand meaning. So you see, the artist then has the power to ascribe new meaning to a situation and thereby change reality. Now, if he or she is strong enough, this can radically manifest itself in unexpected ways. I'm gonna take this. Hey, come on, man, get this back. So not bad. Give it back, you jerk. Take him out, Max. <laughs> Dude, what was that all about? Um, it's not him, it's her. <laughs> Max. Don't be such a wuss, you know? All you gotta do, you just gotta knock him out, and then you gotta knock her up. <laughs> yeah. You need to knock it off. Come on.
Dude, did you see that? Did you see God, that? I can't believe I caught that man. I am so money. Hey, can you hold up for a second? I gotta oh, go to sure. the bathroom. I was wondering if you can try and explain to me how this reality actuality thing works with um, with people. <laughs> well, Schopenhauer doesn't really say a lot about that actually. But Osho claims that what we see is not ultimate reality. Ultimate reality is loving people. You see. One can change the, the superficial aspects of the physical world, but one cannot change who people are. Now, they can be manipulated, but if the purpose is to love, then manipulation is not really an option, is it? No. One should not fall in love, which is weak and possessive. Rather, one should rise in love. And rising in love is freedom. Therefore, Schopenhauer's flaw was in failing to recognize that controlling life was not truly loving life. Tomorrow. It's gonna happen tomorrow. Uh, hi, Lindsay. do you want, Picasso? Uh, oh, you want to talk to Lindsay, huh? What? The pictures aren't doing it for you anymore? Fortunately, 
from Margie. She's mine. I never said I was your girlfriend. Maybe I am on the market. <laughs> Besides, your stock was never that big anyway. <laughs> Don't worry about him, okay? Oh my gosh, what happened? Devin overreacted, and well, he... Oh, dude, that sucks. You got beat up right in front of you. Um, <laughs> you, I'm gonna go get you some water. Do you need some water? I think you need some water. 